Daniels, Vito here, and I am doing a commentary of Disney vs. Non-Disney Villains, Season 2. Well, so far, we only got 14 rounds for it, and we're moving to the room, and I'm still working on round 15, so I'm going to get ahead and start with this right now. This is Season 2 where all the animated TV villains come in and so are the live action baddies. Let's begin right now. First off is Sean Yu vs. King One Eye, the Snow Queen, who hasn't been seen since round 3 of season 1. Notice that Sean Yu is still there and decided to see King One Eye take care of him personally. Oh. Alright. When this one came up, I was surprised you guys maybe we use Jewel of the Fates from Star Wars, but after the copyright issue it got changed into this music from Sonic and the Black Knight. I think it's called Fight the Knight. Yeah. It is kinda of catchy. After the one I invaded China, Shang Yu and the Hunters began to turn in this army. Nice. Well, Kim Wen Hai has small footage, but all right, the witches of Morva versus Ruber. Well, I'm just Travels to Cameron to visit the new king of the world, Ruber. And tells him about the mysterious sword of the king's horn. Travels to Morva to retrieve it. But the witches had something to do about that. Little did not know that Maleficent was the one who sent the witches of Morva to the care of Ruber. But their magic sauce, the magic which is, they took the sword off of Ruber's hand. Ouch! That's not hurt him. Pete versus the Wizard of Wonderland and Lord Malice. I'm kind of surprised to see Malice return. He's really an awesome guy. After months, there he he was trying to stop. He was. Free from his prison and decided to recruit the Wizard of Wonderland to take out Peace. And telling you the truth, I haven't seen Chair Bears, this Chair Bears Wonderland movie. Oh. I never even watched Chair Bears in my life. And nice use of the Prince of the Pauper. This is one of my favorite featurettes. And these two non Disney baddies have their victory. Alright, now we're going into the TV round. Ursula versus Merman. Merman is from She Man and the Masters of the Universe. And I love the way when you use the look footage from the TV series, the little. Hang on a sec. Sorry for that little interruption. I thought what? I thought my family just got back so soon. <laughs> Deja vu, huh, history buff? <laughs> anyway, let's continue on anyway. I love the footage when I love the footage of the T V series of the Little Mermaid. You you really gave Ursula some extra attacks. That is a great idea. And I have watched, and I have not watched the Masters of the Universe. That's my theory, but I'm gonna have to watch the whole series soon. Ooh. Sorry, Ursula. Looks like you lost your hideout after the battle. Alright. The husband. 
from the Hexcode, this is the point of Minion. Alright. I remember watching American Dragon Jake Long for some time ago on Disney Channel. And I haven't watched Super Robot Monkey King Hyper Force Go for a long time. It's been a long time since I watched the series on Genix, along with Digimon and the others, and the Power Rangers. Yeah, thinking, yeah, so many shows used to run up on Genix, but that was a long time ago. <sighs> nice, Huntsman. Now we've got Dr. Dragon versus Mojo Jojo. Senator is about to choose which scientist he might pick. Mojo Jojo or Dr. Dragon? I love watching the Powerpuff Girls when I was a little kid. Yeah, I, I used to watch Cartoon Network a while back. That's what Kim Possible. This is one of the best series ever. ever. I uh, don't have any thoughts about Dr. Snacking. He is a funny character. Love to do the Team Possible movie and some of the Powerpuff Girls movie. Yeah, I don't know why Mojo becomes a big gay to take care of Dr. Snacking's robot. Super size. Ocho might be down, but he's not out. Does Jack know about this? Yeah. Alright, now we got to Don John Silver versus Eric. This was made by Henry Pete Newman, but Man Goose decided to end this fight for him. Well, the Tim Bat this guy, I thought he was going to be in the mood in the real time with the show, but that's the heroes versus villains. Like Silver has the upper hand to get Eris. We got the internal lines! Start attacking! No! Space Pirate. I wonder if Silver has ever heard of Diva Talks from Common to Turbo, but that's. Silver is animated and Steve Jobs is by back to so I'm not gonna go through that history. So Eris makes a quick escape, but little really does she know that Silver is dropping into Silver's hand. Very familiar. Okay, now we go into the epilogue. Well, Leverson is mad because the witches of Mobile have failed her for destroying Wuber, but Pete shows up after he got overthrown in Wonderland and joins up with Phil Leverson. Just like this is like Kingdom Hearts all over again. Uh oh, now we got one of my favorite baddies, Azula from Avatar. Now, it's a good thing I watched the whole series of Avatar the Last Airbender, because when I thought about Azula, she is hot, awesome. And great. She is one of the greatest TV villainesses ever. I, I love the way when you guys came up with this joint with her. Asula is amazing. And Thanatos makes contact with Cobra Commander. I love Thanatos. He is one of the greatest guys. You know, he's quite one of the other characters from Star Trek. And Gargoyles is one of my favorite TV shows ever. I, I, I had to owe you guys a thanks. Because if it hadn't been for Disney versus non Disney, or the way I use Santos and the other baddies from Gargoyles in my, in my tournament, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have not watched this series ever since it was on the Disney Channel and to Disney. I just love watching Gargoyles.
and Santos gets that mysterious visitor after Cobra Commander lifts. After Cobra Commander leaves. What is he up to? Meanwhile, he's a piece of cat doll. Malice is glad that she was dead, but he doesn't think so. And people in Shawnee get strong forces, and they have one eye army. In Atlanta, Ursula has recruited some small little mermaid baddies, Marina and the Evil Manta. In Shawnee, people are still doing some lot of songs for the comments from it. And draw a mallet trying to join the forces. I gotta watch, I gotta start watching more G.I. Joe. Uh, Alright, I gotta watch more G.I. Joe stuff because I only watch the live action movies of, of it. Especially the series were called G.I. Joe Renegades. It's only just a few episodes, but. I don't know, I just don't know why they had to cancel the first season, I mean, I mean the second season. But, when I check out G.I. Joe Renegades, I think I'm gonna love it. Oh, oh, oh boy! Look who's back in the game! Mock is back! This is gonna be cool. And that is round one of season two. And I'm going to do the second round sometime soon. Until then, bye.